Hi guys. Oops, sorry. Today we're going to read Ruby Valentine and the Sweet Surprise. It's a really nice Valentine book. Um, that. Um, and I'm reading it because it's about to be Valentine's Day, and I'm super duper excited about Valentine's Day. So let's just get started because I'm really eager to read at the heartland railway station ruby hugged lovebird goodbye she said she had just been gone for a day but what she didn't say was why ruby valentine boarded a train and took a trip into the city when she returned to Heartland, she brought home a baby kitty. He was soft and sweet and fluffy, a precious little ball of fur. I'll name you Sweetie Pie, said Ruby, and the cat began to purr. Ruby loved her little Sweetie Pie. She taught him how to play. She set out bowls of milk. He grew bigger by the day. Cute and cuddly in his new home, he brought Ruby lots of joy. But not everyone was enamored with this little feline boy. Lovebird. Okay, um, those words that I pronounced. I'm sorry if I pronounced them wrong. Let's move on. Lovebird was not happy. This was more than she could bear. Lovebird missed the good old days when she and Ruby were a pair. Week after week, Lovebird watched the new apple of Ruby's eye, and she could not help but think, that darn cat, sweetie pie. The lovebird wanted to show Ruby. She was her number one pet. She wanted to do something special. Something Ruby would not ever, never forget. So as Ruby's favorite day drew close, lovebird thought and plotted. She planned Valentine's to perfection. Her T's were crossed, her ones were dotted. When Valentine's Day arrived, Ruby pulled her pets in tight. I'm going town. I'm going to town to get supplies. We'll celebrate tonight. As soon as Ruby left, Lovebird put her plan in action, but she had not anticipated Sweetie Pie's reaction. When Lovebird baked a cake and iced it to perfection, Sweetie Pie gunked sorry if I pronounced that word wrong, a much fancier confection. When Lovebird hung streamers and hearts along the walls, Sweetie Pie flung confetti in every room and down the halls. And when Lovebird arranged flowers in an honor in honor of the day, Sweetie Pie brought in a more elaborate but cute. Sorry if I pronounce it. Elaborate wrong. Lovebird looked around the house. Her plans had gone awry. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing a lot of words wrong. You rotten cat! Uh, squawked Lovebird. Then she lunged at Sweetie Pie. When Ruby returned home, she was shocked at what she saw. A mess in every corner. Her pets locked in a brawl. She dropped her bags of goody and crowded into dismay. Can someone please explain what happened while I was away? 
Both pets talked at once, telling what they'd try to do. That's when Ruby told them. There's room in my heart for two. Then she helped them clean and dust. They used the mop and rag to broom and, and broom. They scoured every corner. They tidied every room. They took a nice long bath. They scrubbed the day away. Ruby set out all her goodies for a Valentine's buffet. Then Ruby said, Surprise! There's still more to celebrate. We're going to watch a movie. You two get to stay up late. So Ruby, Lovebird, and Sweetie Pie all snuggled up in a chair. They had a squish together, but no one seemed to care. When the movie ended, both pets looked and saddened down. Valentine's Day is over, they both said with a frown. Then Ruby hugged her pets and said, There's something we have plenty of. The va this Valentine's Day is over, but we'll never run out of love. This was a really nice book. And I loved reading it with you. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Valentine's. And if you go to a certain website, it says that on Feb 13th, it's, um, on Feb 13th, it's Galentine's Day on, it's kind of like an eve of Valentine's, like there's Christmas Eve. Galentine's Day is a little eve of Valentine's. And I hope you have... Ooh, and today is Abraham Lincoln's birthday. Hmm. There's lots of other days. And I want you to check them out. So you can go to nationaltoday.com and you can explore by yourself. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.